Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you said it's funny because there are parts when I'm like really laughing at this and I told that to a couple of my friends and they were like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, no, but, but Good Time is also very funny. I thought Good Time's hilarious. Thank you. Yeah, because I was, I was going to say, you know, have you ever thought about doing an out and out broad comedy, but really Good Time qualifies. I mean, yeah. This is. <laughs> I think everything I did is coming. <laughs> this is a traumatizing comedy. Yeah. It's a comedy. Um, it's always funny until it happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a hand over there. Sure. Was the the seagull trained? Uh, seagull. <laughs> I mean, that was by far the most complicated part of the entire. And also, it was terrifying. Yeah. But, I mean, the, Jenny, I mean, to see a seagull who is actually responding to cues, I had no idea. There's two seagulls in the entire world who can do it. And, I mean, to see a seagull listen to you, it's like, it really feels like there's a soul tap inside it. <laughs> okay, it's, kind of, it's very strange. I don't know how they did that. So it, it was trained? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I saw that I saw it when it's eating my intestines as well, and it was the same seagull who I basically talked to. <laughs> wow! That's terrifying. Wow. Even in the back, I hate it. Sure, way back there. Oh yeah. Well, how colorful was the world that when you were shooting it? You know, we we see it in black and white, but what did it look like to you? That was this. Beautiful. I mean, it's kind of that. I guess because it's because it's on thirty-five millimeter as well. The gradations of grays are so defined that that like, everything was. I guess we're still shooting it as a color movie. I mean, it was all incredibly beautiful, and, and the kind of the um, the distressing of the clothes and everything was kind of. It was all so specific. But I mean, this, it's strange to see it when it looks so kind of viscerally like gross, mm -hmm. so much of it in the movie, and like when to your eye, every it was very romantic and kind of, um, I mean, it looks sort of idyllic in a lot of ways. I mean, it's kind of, really? the, I mean, that cape where it is kind of, it's absolutely beautiful, whatever around it. And there's something, I mean, so much of it looked like a kind of Bruce Webber, Double RL photo shoot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but when you look at it afterwards, it's like, oh, maybe I was wrong about that. <laughs> so um, we talked about how you're drawn to kind of weird or unusual. How are you going to top this? <laughs> Next movie has to be silent in 14 millimeter, <laughs> 8 millimeter. And to be honest, I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the next two things are pretty, they're like, I don't know. Pretty crazy. <laughs> really? <laughs> They're just some. Like, yeah, I guess in a different way. I mean, it's sort of. I don't really know. I think even if I did a normal thing now, I I just find some way to pervert it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you keep working with these amazing directors, from Cronenberg to James Gray. Um, now Robert, you worked with Christopher Nolan. I know in in, in something which uh, I can't pronounce the name. Tenant. Is that correct? Yes, the mysterious tenant. <laughs> uh, what do you look for in a director? Um, I think if they're very, um, if they're very stubborn, that like it's kind of. I mean, I, I always like it if someone just really doggedly sticks, wants to make the movie that they want to make. Because mm -hmm. I guess it's so difficult that even just managerially. Um, making a movie. I mean, there's so many people trying to push you in a different direction, and then half the time, if, even if you knew exactly what you wanted to do at the beginning, you end up with this kind of bastardized version of it at the end. And I like working with people that sometimes, you know, they make a movie sometimes, it's a kind of miss, but like every time it's very, very, very much their movie, and it's exactly what they wanted to make. Um, I think it's always more fun to work with them. Yeah. There's nothing worse than working with someone who feels like they've had the control sort of rested from their hands mm -hmm. a little bit. And it's a very specific type of person, and they can be quite sort of spiky yeah. people <laughs> like to do that. But it's always, it's always worth it to seek them out. Are you interested in directing at all? Um, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's, 
You know, the acting thing doesn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> I think directing is quite hard. It's, it's <laughs> obsessively hard. It's I, difficult. I have so much admiration for people who can do it, and I'm, honestly, for people who can act. I, th I think, like, I like the fact that with if you mess something up in a scene, especially in an indie, when you've got to get on to the next thing, the next thing, there's no ability to reshoot it. It's like you really have, you only have to think about it for one day. Whenever <laughs> as a director, not the rest of your life. Yeah, the director will keep yeah. thinking about that mistake they made and just realize, oh, I've got to just do this. and look at this in the edit room for months, <laughs> just shaming myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or they can just blame the actor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, I want to remind everyone this movie comes out in theaters, I believe, on October 18th. Yes. Does that sound right? Someone over there tell me that's right. Okay, that's right. Um, please spread the word because it's such a beautiful, special film, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it is a hard sell. I think people have heard it's great, but how do you describe it to people? I mean, I'm always surprised that, like, when I see people, when I've seen audiences, and they're kind of laughing, and, and, and I. I had no idea. I thought I thought it was going to be a harder sell than it is, but yeah. I, mean, I think when I think people at first glance will think like, mm, that yeah. looks like it's going to be really, really hard like to, mm -hmm. to watch. And I think when people are just watching it, it's kind of I don't know. I think it's I think it's kind of a riot. Thing. And, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I hope I hope people see it. So it's a comedy. Um, two great actors in a lighthouse. It's all in the title. Well, again, congratulations on another bold choice paying off. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys.